Republicans are talking about a payroll tax cut, another round of stimulus checks, and school funding tied to whether or not schools reopen. Would you vote for a bill that included any of that? I mean, that's just the beginning of what we need to do in terms of getting stuff done. The idea of a payroll tax cut, which, as was just Casey just brought up, which is spot on, it doesn't actually help people who are out of work, right? And that does nothing for them. It puts Social Security at risk. And a lot of the Republicans are even talking about it being a loan, not actually resources that, uh, that are just given to folks to help stimulate the economy. So I, I think, as, as was said, the Republicans are actually fighting with each other. They can't agree. We've got to get this done by July 31st when the unemployment insurance benefits run out. We've got a lot of small businesses that are hurting. We've got a deal. You've got schools, as you brought up. We've got schools that are, have a, a, a suddenly all these new expenses to get back. So there are a lot of people that need help. We passed stuff out of the House. We've got a bill done, the HEROES Act. We're waiting for the Senate to act, but we're waiting for them to get their act together. In your mind, when you look at what's happening in your own district, what is the most important thing that the next relief bill must include? We've really got to get state and local dollars. Um, I think it's, you look at Jersey, where we've got now 16% unemployment and a huge hole left by the virus. We were in the eye of the storm for so long, 15 to $20 billion just at the state level budget, not to mention what's happening in all of our, all of our towns and all their shortfalls that affects, obviously, law enforcement, teachers, firefighters, you name it. We've got to make sure we fill, to fill that hole. We always take care of of our states and people when a storm hits, we're there. This is the same situation. We've got a bipartisan bill that's sitting in the Senate waiting. Uh, the SMART Act, it's $500 billion led by Bob Menendez and Cassidy in the Senate. Over here, I helped lead it with Mikey Sherrill and others. It's, and Tom Reed, it's got to get done. You and Tom Reed, you and Tom are two key members of the Problem Solvers Caucus. If there was ever a time to come together, it would be now. Do you have any real faith that you and your colleagues are going to get something passed before the August recess? Yes. I will be more optimistic about this one. I think that July 31st deadline is, is looming over. You see what's going on. This is no longer a problem where, where the senators in other states can say, well, that's just a, a Jersey and York, California problem. It's not our problem. You see what's happening in other part, in red parts of the country, and which, uh, which is heartbreaking. Now the pressure is really on them, too. They've got to get something done. I do not think people can go home at the end of July and go, on and, and go back to their districts without getting something done. So I think we will get something done. I think it'll look, like, as, as Speaker Pelosi said, larger than what uh, S Senator McConnell is talking about. We have a significant pandemic and a crisis in our country right now. We've got to help people who are out of work. We've got to help our small businesses. We've got to help our frontline health care workers. And we've got to get our, our, those masks we make, as the outbreak continues and if there's another wave. We have to make sure the PPE is there and that the supply chain is secure. We've got a lot of work to do, and, time's, and the time and the clock is ticking right now. Well, the government has already spent an enormous amount of money, and taxpayers have a right to know where every single dollar has gone. As you work on the next bill, there's a huge question about oversight. I want to go back to the PPP loan program. I know many businesses have been helped in your district, but we still don't have any information on loans under $150,000. Are you going to demand that is public? And there's also talk that all of those loans should be automatically forgivable, even if those businesses did not adhere to the rules of PPP, which was maintaining 100% employment. So it would be free money with no one following the rules. That makes no sense to me, and you and I have talked about this. The idea that we wouldn't have complete accountability and transparency uh, is unacceptable. That's something that I've been pushing for. You know, we've, we've, we've tried to get this through the House already to demand, I don't care if it's $10,000 or $150,000 or a million dollars. There should be complete and total transparency. We should know where those dollars went and how they were spent. We've got to help our small businesses. I'm a big supporter of the PPP program, but I do believe that we need to have that transparency and we need to have strong oversight. And why we wouldn't have it just, I don't understand why we wouldn't give that to the American public. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.